Hi guys, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how the Fantasy Star series typically celebrates Christmas. So one thing you might know about Fantasy Star Online in particular is that it's quite an innovative game. And one way it was quite innovative is the way it celebrated different seasonal events. So as you can see with this background footage I've got going here, um, PSO had a habit of celebrating various different events through the year. So for example, Christmas, Halloween, um, New Year, Easter. And quite often what would happen is the, the lobbies would get all decorated up depending on the season. And there would also be some little gameplay changes as well, just to keep the gameplay fresh for that season. So as you can see here, um, we've got footage of Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst, and this was also the same on all the different versions of Fantasy Star Online. And what you can see is that the, the lobbies are decorated in all the Christmas decorations. You've got special music playing in the lobbies, just um, the only players during the Christmas period. Um, but it's not just confined to just the lobbies. So I just load an episode one game now. What you'll see is when we load into Pioneer 2, initially it all looks the same. But then as soon as you come out, it starts playing the Christmas music again. And you can see we've got there's a couple of Christmas trees on Pioneer. And we've also got in the background, there's a little um, little screen that says Merry Xmas as well. It's only very subtle changes that it does in Pioneer, but it, it's a nice little um, feature that PSO does. And this does differ through the year as well. So, um, for example, during Easter, those little Christmas trees would also be Easter eggs. But that's just a little example of how PSO celebrates um, Christmas. Now, this footage will probably just loop a couple of times, but um, there is other changes that PSO does during seasonal events as well. So the the biggest one that affects the gameplay is the introduction of different rare enemies. In episode two, in the temple area, there is um, a rare rappy called Love Rappy. But at certain times of the year, it changes to a different seasonal rappy. So at the moment, we've got the Christmas event. So at the moment, the Love Rappy actually changes to a special rare enemy called Saint Rappy, which has a um, has a Santa hat and it wears a little Santa outfit. Um, they actually differ gameplay-wise as well because they actually drop different things. So for example, Saint Rappies drop Christmas have a chance of dropping Christmas presents, which can have different mag cells in. But there were certain items that you could only really get during the seasonal events. So I encourage you to log on and play, which is a really, really cool little feature. So I, I tried for days and days and days to get this rapid to show up and I could not get it to show up, unfortunately. Um, I will try and spice in some um, an image of what one looks like just so you can see it. But this rappy does change throughout the year as well. So as an example, through Easter, it changes to Egg Rappy. Near Halloween, it changes to Hallow Rappy, which has a little pumpkin on its head. Um, so there is those little seasonal changes that PSO does just to keep the game fresh during the seasonal events. Um, in regards to what's going on in PSO now, on the different private servers, a lot of them are running different Christmas events. I know that Affinia has a Christmas event on at the moment where enemies can drop things like Christmas presents. Um, they can have various different items in them. So there, there is a reason to log on and, and play during the Christmas period. So that's PSO. But what we'll do is now we'll look at the next games and see how that tradition continued. So on to PSU. So next up we've got Fantasy Star Universe. And much like PSO, PSU also celebrates Christmas. Um, again, you can see here on uh, Clia's City on the Guardian's Colony, we've got the Christmas trees everywhere. We've got wreaths everywhere. Um, there's garlands draped all over the place. Um, I, I do feel like in general, PSU does quite a good job of um, celebrating the Christmas season and does actually de decorate the, the uh, lobbies really, really well. Um, it does seem like quite a big step up from PSO, but I think a lot of that is just because the lobbies are a lot bigger in general. Um, it's not just confined to the bottom floor either. So if we go up to the second floor, can see that again we've got there's a few wreaths around it might be a little bit hard to see there you can see it better on the third floor so on third floor you can see again we've got some more wreaths and that mount on the walls and everything so there's quite a lot of effort gone into this overall and again much like PSO this would change throughout the year for different seasonal events as well so again on the fourth floor you can see we've got wreaths behind the counters and generally it's just all of the Guardians colony is decorated. I believe there are some decorations on some of the planets as well. Um, I can't remember offhand, but I believe it does affect some of the planets as well. Now, if we go up to the Guardians HQ on this server, which is Clementine, 
We do have some trees in here as well. I can't remember if these were here on the official server or not. You can hear that the Christmas music has stopped on here. Um, on this server at least, it's also decorated the fifth floor as well. So it is a really, really nice little feature. So again, regarding um, rare enemies, so PSU again followed on the tradition of including different rare enemies for different seasons. So again, you had like um, egg rappies during Easter, things like that. I believe during Christmas, I think there was a special rappy that could spawn. Um, and again, there was special drops that were only available during that season. So it, it kept a very, very similar um, sort of view to PSO really. So and essentially anything PSO did, PSU kind of followed the same formula. So again, on this server, Clementine, there is a Christmas event running at the moment. So if you are interested in checking that out, by all means, go and check the server. I will leave all the details in the description how to access the servers as well. But that's how PSU typically celebrates the different seasons. So at the moment, Christmas. So now let's bring it up to modern day and let's take a look at what Sega are doing now with PSO2 NGS. So now we've got the, the current game, PSO2 NGS. And again, you can see that this tradition of decorating the lobbies has continued. Um, in NGS, they seem to have this fascination with using like holographic decorations, so everything seems holographic. Um, at the moment, for the Christmas event, we've got full decorations in Rotem City and also in Central City in Aelio. Um, for some reason, Caveris and Steer, they don't get decorated at all. You would think that Caveris would be the obvious one to decorate, but apparently not. Apparently, it's their uh, Rotem. So you can see it, it is a little bit sparse actually in, in Rotem, the decorations, um, but you can see there is the odd little holographic detail. So like above the screens, there's holographic bells, the stars in the background. Um, if we head over to Aelio though and go to Central City, um, Central usually is a little bit better for the decorations. You can see now we're in Central City and what you can see is there's again, all the holographic decorations are everywhere. Uh, like I've said, they seem very, very keen on this kind of style in NGS and um, all of the seasonal events seem to have these holographic decorations. Um, you can't see a great deal from here, but once you get to the main walkway of Central City, there is a, a lot of decoration going on, actually. So you can see all of the archways are fully decorated. Um, the, the main one, though, is when you get towards the Central Tower. So when you come over here, again, all the shops are decorated. And if we look up at the, the main tower, what you can see is it's, it's essentially decorated like a Christmas tree which I think is actually a really cool little aesthetic. Um, it looks quite good from afar as well, so even when you're outside of Central, you can see um, the decoration as well, which is really nice. So I, I do feel like it, it's quite a decent lobby overall, um, and I do kind of like the aesthetic they're going for. And again, we've got it here over the cafe. There is the sort of the silhouette of a, of a Christmas tree. Also, if you go over towards the, where the main screen is, there is a little sleigh on top of it as well. There's, little, again, a little holographic slayer that's um, piloted by a rappy, <laughs> which I think is a nice little touch, really. So, again, if we think about how the game is actually affected during the seasonal events, it's, again, quite similar to PSO, to be honest. So, with NGS, again, they have continued this tradition that's a long-running one with Fantasy Star, which is to include rare enemies. Now... Rappies can appear any time of the year in NGS as random spawns, but during certain seasons, again, they change to seasonal variants. And this is kept up with NGS. So instead of Saint Rappies, we now have Reindeer Rappies. So it's basically Rappies that are wearing little reindeer outfits. It's really, really cute. <laughs> now, what they've done at the moment is the current event is in certain areas of Retem. I believe it's any exploration area in Retem apart from Rimaquad. They've added what I call rappy spots. And the way they work is if you defeat a veteran enemy, there is a chance that a rappy spot will appear. It'll be marked on the map which veteran you've got to kill to do it. So you can see at the moment we've got a little rainbow colored marker. And it's quite far from us at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll walk over to Golnet East. I tend to find that South Retem is one of the better routes to do this in. What you can see is just here on the map, there's a little rainbow icon, and this is the icon for your rappy spot. So we've got a veteran bubble snapper here. So the, the current event for Christmas, there's a few parts to the NGS one. So the first one is, by killing these veteran enemies, what you want to do is find the veteran enemy that's connected to the rappy spot. It shouldn't take long. You can see we've got 32 people in this lobby, so... 
And now what will happen is the reindeer rappies now have a chance of spawning. And they're also accompanied by a thing called a captain. Might be hard to see the rappies because they die instantly. Or get knocked out instantly, I should say. So these captain guys, these drop loads of different capsules when they're defeated. But there's now a new variant of them as well that the, that the game's added. So occasionally when you defeat a captain, you'll get a larger variant of it that spawns called a king captain. And King Captain seems to drop more capsules and also has a chance of dropping some special capsules called Foundier. So here we've got King Captain spawn here. You can see he's just a bigger version of a Captain. They're not hard to beat at all. They're, they're really, really easy. The whole point of them is just to get a load of capsules, basically. Just um, It does make a fixing a lot easier. So we'll fight this King Captain. Quite funny enemies, really. Obviously based on the Mesotan enemies from original PSO2. So like a normal Captain, when you defeat him, he just gives out a ton of different capsules. And what you'll see is we do get some pretty good ones, actually. So we've got Mastery 3, Mastery 3, Stamina 3, Spirit 3, Might 3, Precision 3, Technique 4, Deafness 3, Guard 3, Gagas Might 3, Gagas Precision 3, Gagas Tech 3, Dreadkeeper 4, Stereo Domina, Tech 3, Ale Domina, Ret Domina, Kvar Domina, and Foundier. And that was kind of a bad one. Um, usually you, you can also get things like the Lucille capsules. So you can even get things like um, Halfnail Lucille. You can get uh, Grand Dreadkeeper capsules. So there is a, a lot of reason to run this to get those capsules. Um, it's not just the Captains that can spawn either as well. So there are also um, rare variants of Rappies, um, like Emperor Rappies that can spawn as well. So th there is more to this event as well. So there is actually a limited quest that you can run as well where you complete different tasks, and for every task you complete, you get gifts. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the limited quest. Um, it's a little bit repetitive, I believe, and I don't like... There's a section in the middle of it where you have to defend this truck, and I'm kind of sick of those defense quests, personally. But um, overall, though, it, it's a decent way of getting some rewards if you want if you want to run that. And that is a limited quest, so you can run at any time as well. And that's more... I believe that's about four players. Whereas this, you can, again, you can do any time, and up to 32 players can join it with a bit of exploration zone. So again, we're fighting this veteran Dustal Hammer, because he's stood next to the Rappy spot. You don't want to kill um, veterans that are not next to a spot, because they won't spawn Rappies. Um, so you always want to look for that Rappy spot icon on your map, and then target that veteran. Once you've defeated one veteran, the mark will move on to the next one. So again, this guy should be about done, I think. There we go. But again, you can hear the rappies. It also plays the rappy fever music, so also you know it's happening. So we've got the reindeer rappies. Again, it might be really hard to see them because they just they get defeated as soon as they spawn, more or less. <laughs> but when you've got 32 people attacking them, it does kind of happen quite quickly. So again, we defeated that captain. You always seem to get a captain initially with the rappies, but then after that it seems random whether you get a rappy or a king captain. So you see, this time we got a Saint, a Saint Emp Rappy. And these can also be great rappies as well, so you can get the huge ones spawn as well. You can see, again, from that captain, we got things like Gladiosaur LC, Gagas Mast LC, Grand Dreadkeeper LC. So even the regular captains can drop really, really good capsules at the minute. The actual rappies themselves, they tend to drop a variety of things. So they drop strugments, they drop um they can actually drop TA customization discs as well now. Um and different photon chunk 2As, 2Bs, arms refiners, arms refiner twos. Um they can also drop some triggers. I don't know if that's specific to just the grand uh, the great rappies, but they can actually drop quest triggers as well. But overall, I think NGS does a pretty good job of, of celebrating this season. I realise the seasonal events have been a little bit hit or miss with NGS overall, but I feel like this one's not too bad. Um so I hope that's been a relatively interesting video. Just a quick look back at how Fantasy Star Online is typically celebrated some of the seasons. I might do another one of these when we get our next big event. Um, but I think the next one where the enemies change will probably be... The PSO, I think the next one might be Easter. So we'll review that then and I'll, I'll show you the differences then as well. Uh, for the meantime, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider liking or subscribing to the channel. It really, really does help out. And for now, I'll leave that there and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if I don't see you before, have a Merry Christmas and whatever you're doing, have a really nice Christmas and New Year.